to that, the limit, the next approach is A of x to the power n minus a to the power n over x minus a is n times a to the power n minus 1. And we are going to use this to prove uh, the derivation or the derivative by the first principle of f of x is equal to x to the power n, which is n x to the power n minus 1. So first let us prove this. So the question is, the limit when x approaches a of x to the power n minus a to the power n over x minus a. Let me change color. So let me take blue. So here, I'm going to do a substitution. So let's say let uh, x is equal to a plus h. I'm going to let x is equal to a plus h. Uh, therefore, if h approaches 0, then what happens to x? If h is approaching 0, x would be approaching a. So, this implies, you can change the limit here. Here the limit is from, the limit is when x is approaching a is same as saying h is approaching 0 because when h is approaching 0 then x is approaching a so conversely when if x is approaching a it is same as saying h is approaching 0 so this limit can change to this limit so the limit when h approaches 0 of this function so now x I have let as a plus h so this is a plus h to the power n minus a to the power n over x is a plus h minus a. Okay, so yeah, this implies this is the limit when h approaches 0 of a plus h to the power n minus a to the power n over h. Okay, so let us keep this aside. And we're going to do an expansion of a plus x, a plus h to the power n. Okay, so let me use this color back. Okay, so yeah. So let us expand now. Let us expand a plus h to the power n using a binomial theorem. I hope you know the binomial theorem. Using binomial theorem, I can say this is n c 0 times a to the power n h to the power 0 plus n c 1 a to the power n minus 1 h to the power 1 plus n c 2 a to the power n minus 2 h to the power 2 plus now if you look at this it's very easy to remember n this nc0 starts from nc0 to ncn. The power of a decreases from n to 0. The power of h increases from 0 to n. This is how I remember. So here you decrease the power of n from n to n 0. So here you got n, then you got n minus 1, n minus 2. So the power of a is decreasing by 1 from n to 0, and the power of h is increasing from 0 to 1. So you got 0, then you got 1, then 2, and then you got h. So this is equal to nc0 is 1, and h to the power 0 is also 1. So this is a to the power n plus nc1, a to the power n minus 1 times h plus n c2 a to the power n minus 2 h squared plus dot 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 this is n c n is nothing but uh, n c 0 this is 1 this is also 1 so this is h to the power n okay so this is nothing but a plus h to the power n so in place of a plus h to the power n I can put this expression so Therefore, the limit 
when let me scroll this up a little the limit when h approaches zero of this so in place of a plus h i'm going to factor the h out so this is one over h times a plus h the whole squared is a to the power n plus n c1 a to the power n minus 1 times h plus n c2 a to the power n minus 2 times h squared plus h to the power n and then you got minus a to the power n here so what gets cancelled okay so this and this gets cancelled so what remains let me use this yellow color again so this is this implies the limit when h tends to zero i'm going to multiply with one over one over h inside the bracket so this will become uh this will become uh this h will get cancelled so this will become n c1 a to the power n minus 1 plus so here the power of h will decrease by 1 so h times 1 over h gets cancelled so this will be n c2 a to the power n minus 2 times h this and this this will change to h h to the power n minus 1 now we have applied now we have to apply the limit <clears throat> so when h tends to 0 what will happen this so let me change color this is this will become so this is the most subtle part of limits so here we are saying when h is approaching 0 this is almost 0 so this becomes 0 the next term becomes 0 and this is also becoming 0 so in other words this whole thing becomes 0 okay therefore I can say let me change color the limit h tends to 0 is equal to n c 1 a to the power n minus 1 now n c 1 is nothing but n so this is n n times a to the power n minus 1 now h tends to 0 is same as x approaches uh, the limit h approaches 0 is same as x approaches a so we'll, we can write the question back therefore the limit the limit of h approaching 0 is same as the limit x approaches a of x to the power n minus a to the power n over x minus a is nothing but n times a to the power n minus 1. Okay, now let us use this to prove uh, our fun, the derivative by the first principle. So we have, let me change color. So now f of x is x to the power n. So you can say f of x plus h would be in place of x you can put x plus h so this is x plus h to the power n okay therefore by first principle by first principle we want to differentiate this so you can say f dash x by first principle is the limit when h tends to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h so this is nothing equal to this is x plus h to the power n minus x to the power n over h i forgot to write the limit the limit when h tends to zero h approaches zero so now we're going to do a substitution so we're going to say let x plus h be equal to m let x plus h be equal to m which implies then h approaches 0 what happens to when h approaches 0 what happens to x we can say x is approaching m 
when h is becoming zero or approaching zero, h would be x will be approaching m. Okay. Also, we can say h in turn h would be m minus x. Okay. So this whole thing, the limit will change from the limit h approaches zero is same as saying the limit x approaches m. Therefore, the limit x approaches m of x plus h is m, m to the power n minus x to the power n over h is m minus x. Now, compare this with this. Okay, we have got, we have, we have just proved the limit we proved that the limit when x approaches a of this function is n times a to the power n minus 1. So here you can compare this with this. This you can compare with this form. And well, you can say we have already proved that when x approaches, x approaches m, uh, h is equal to m minus x. Yeah. So m approach so instead of saying x approaches m is same as you can say here we can say m is approaching x m is approaching x so let me change the limit to instead of x approaching m is same as saying m is approaching x so the limit when m is approaching x of this function is nothing but n times this that is x to the power n minus 1 and now this is a very useful proof or this is a very useful result and this is where we use say if f of x is say x to the power 4 f dash x using this formula we say is you drop the power down which is 4 x to the power 3.